Hey there, Slavis here, back with another episode of Dark Cloud 2. We're going to continue on through the dungeon again. Uh, we did these last, th these three floors in the last episode. So I'm thinking maybe we can do three more, or maybe something will happen along the way, hopefully. Uh, anyways, the next floor is called Pains in the Neck. Defeat all enemies using only Max's gun. Let's take a look and see if we can do that, and also see if there's anything new. It's been quite a while since we ran into anything new in these dungeons. So hopefully something happens. So I'm just gonna shoot these guys. Shoot these guys and uh, try and do some challenges. Geostone. There we go. Another floor completed, another Spada challenge done. I'm doing a lot better with the Spada stuff now. Um, it's given me pretty easy paths to go. That will come to a, a halt pretty soon, I, I'm pretty sure. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Ooh, indestructible coin. What can I put that on? Branch. Might put that on Monica's sword. There we go. Indestructibility on there. Let's check out the next floor. Mount Gundor Peak. Alright, here's something. What do we got? This looks like a boss fight thing. Fire Squall. Let's see. Now there is one thing I want to do before I approach the Fire Squall. Check out our geostone we got. Hardened mud pile. Borneo resides in Heimrata. Windmill placed. Oh, we can make a windmill, can't we? Yes, we can. Ah, nice. Did that give us anything? Oh, yeah. The work crane and the Gundarata workshop restored. Cool. Okay, but that's not what I wanted to do. I want to make... Where is it? Straw house. I'm not gonna put it down. I know it's gonna burn. That's what I want. So I'm gonna leave the area, then I'm gonna come back. There's been a change in the future, something will happen. Oh no, my straw house, it is gone. Well that's okay, because I get a picture out of it. I don't know if I need that for anything, but I figured I'd grab that while I could. Clean that up. Can I place that? I don't think so. No. Okay, let's, ch let's uh, take a look at the future now. See what's up with that Gundarada workshop. So this is the great workshop. Yes, Gundarada workshop. The name is taken from Mount Gundor and the village below it, Heimrada. 
Cosnos, the mobile stronghold of our rebel army, was once built here. Wow, that's something. Let's go to the second floor. Yeah, okay. Alright, what's going down at the second floor? Also, I saw... That, right there. Item shop. Let's check that out. I suppose I can teleport there faster than I can walk there. there. Let's take a look inside here. Do you have anything cool for me? Combat can get pretty deep. You can't just run into every situation guns blazing. If you want to be cool, you gotta use items too. Find your enemy's weakness and exploit it. You have nothing interesting for me. Oh, actually. Should sell some of this cheese. But I have max cheese. Do you have anything? Nope. Pattern drug, that's new. Decorative lights. Sulfur color juice, that's new. Right, let's see if there's any things here. Oh, there's one. Candle, coal, egg. Improved bomb. Yeah. Nice. Horn work arm electric sesame. All right, I'm gonna write that down. I think I think I know where I can get electric sesame, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Hot energy pipe generator. Ooh. Say cheese. Energy pack urn. Let's make that. I'm sure that'll have more than the energy pack tank. Oh, bucket pack. So we have 160 right now. 240. Nice. I'll have to sell this bucket pack. Alright, I'm gonna go see about getting the electric sesame. Actually, no, I'm gonna go up to the second floor. Shop was erased. We're in the middle of trying to bring it back. Ah, so that's what happened, is it? Everything changed so suddenly, I had no idea what was going on. So do you think you'll be able to restore the workshop? Well, there's a problem. They're trying to put a stop to our building by raining embers down on Heimrata. That's probably the fire squall. The fire squall? Yes. In the beginning, they tried to destroy the workshop directly using that device. The workshop itself? The fire squall is a terrifying device that takes energy from the volcano and turns it into a boiling hot rain that burns up man-made things. 
We were able to protect the workshop by destroying the device in the volcano's crater. I guess their scheme failed, so they decided to set up the fire squall in the past and prevent the workshop from ever existing. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. So we have to take out the fire squall in the past as well, right? That's right. I think the device is probably near the crater at the top of the volcano. Use this. Use it to blow up the fire squall. Make sure they don't find it before it goes off. Okay, I got you. Thanks, Garrick. See you. Good luck. All right, what a helpful guy. Anything else for us? Nope, just gotta destroy the fire squall. I don't think there was anything on the third floor. So in that case, I'm going to go back to where I think the electric sesame is. So I got a bunch of pictures in here. I got this runaway dragon, Lao Chao's trademark, some of these things on the counter. But I thought the electric sesame would have been in here. It's not. So where is it? Yeah, I thought it would have been here, but I guess not. We'll, we'll just continue on. We'll go fight the fire squall now. Actually, I should check with Donnie one more time for scoops. And we got a fishing contest coming up. So Donnie didn't have anything for us, but we've got a mission to do. Let's take out the fire squall. That's it! So that's what's causing our fiery rain problem. Let's hurry up and destroy it. All right! Okay, gotta go set a time bomb. Well, we might as well walk up the ramp there. Maybe we can just put it right, right inside or something. That might be a control panel right there. Okay, so this is probably where we place it. Stop the fire rain problem. Look who decided to show up, Gaspard. So, you wiped out the fire squall, you puppet little devils. Now it's time for you to die. Exactly how I'm supposed to use my red pod. I got a flying battleship again. Uh... 
Well, it's better than getting hit by that thing. Well, all right. We're gonna have to equip a long-range weapon. We should use the Nova Cannon. Will it get that far? Oh yeah. Okay, so it comes in close for melee attacks, too. Ow. My Monica is down there. Wow, that is a deep hole. Uh. Does not appear to be a way down from here. I wonder if I progress through the dungeon and I climb down through that. Unless there's a way over there. Yeah, looks like it. There's a ramp right there. Hmm. Interesting. The so one, two, three, four, five, six more floors. Cool. Now we gotta go save Monica. First, I'm gonna end the episode. So, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to start on a path to save Monica. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in the next episode. See ya.